the end does not justify the mean to me. And I know that putting my body here, they won't spray me because they know how deadly this is. Two groups of campers in Otterbrook area are protesting a spraying of glyphosate-based herbicides approved to private companies by the province last month. It's used to prevent small trees from growing on lands where the lumber industry favors softwood, affecting the ecosystem. Spraying only happens when there is next to no wind with a buffer zone. Studies show even a small amount in waterways can affect zooplankton communities. I just see it as destructive and harmful. And it's just not right, and we, we need to stand up against it. There was a brief encounter with RCMP and a landowner at one site where the campers later moved. Other interactions have been good with supportive locals bringing things like food and coffee. People are afraid for their jobs, they're afraid to speak up, and they're happy that people from outside are here who can take that risk. You know, because I think that's a story all over rural Nova Scotia. Marianne Lonas is a local resident willing to speak. Well, I think their presence here has um, made uh, an impact on the community. I don't think, I think that if they weren't here, the community wouldn't know that the spraying was happening. The campers occupied sites last year in other parts of the province where the spray ended up being cancelled, which the provincial government says companies cancel because of weather. Health Canada maintains that glyphosate is safe when used as directed amid conflicting studies about its effect on human health. Nova Scotia Environment has not responded to a request for comment. We have a lot of um, neighbours that uh, take their horses out there, horseback riding. Um, there's berries, uh, there's um, blueberry fields out there, um, there's a lot of deer out there, uh, hunters, there's some hunting camps. So there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of wildlife out there, um, a lot of people and animals can be exposed to them. They plan to stay until the cutoff date of September 30th and hope the spray is called off. For the Saltwire Network in Otterbrook, Nova Scotia, I'm Chelsea Gould.